Hello and welcome to Sean White's Solar and Energy Storage Podcast. You can find out more about Sean White at his links page at solarshawn.com. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the very first broadcast of radio station 710. 710 is Article 710 of the National Electrical Code, and that is for standalone systems. What does standalone systems mean? Some people call it islanding. However, it can also be for a PV system that's on your house that has battery backup. That battery backup output of that PV system on your house, that is a standalone system. Stand alone now and listen as I recite 710. 710.1. This article covers electric power production systems that operate in island mode and installations not connected to an electric power production and distribution network. Informational note. These systems are capable of operating in island mode, independent from an electric power production and distribution network, and include isolated microgrid systems or interactive with other power sources. Standalone systems often include a single or compatible interconnection of sources such as engine generators, solar PV, wind, energy storage systems, or batteries. 710.6 Equipment Approval All equipment shall be approved for the intended use in accordance with one of the following two one be listed for the application and two be evaluated for the application and have a field label applied informational note inverters identified as multi-mode and standalone are specifically identified and certified to operate in this application standalone inverters operate in island mode Multi-mode inverters operate in either island mode, previously called standalone mode, or interactive mode, if it has been installed with the optional utility grid connection. A multi-mode inverter will only operate in island mode if it is never connected to an electric utility supply. Standalone inverters are not evaluated for and are not intended for connection to export power in parallel with an electric utility. 710.10, identification of power sources. A permanent plaque or directory shall be installed at a building supplied by a standalone system at each service equipment location or at an approved readily visible location. The plaque or directory shall denote the location of each power source disconnecting means for the building or be grouped with other plaques or directories for other on-site sources. Where multiple sources supply the building, the plaque or directory shall be marked with the wording, CAUTION! MULTIPLE SOURCES OF POWER! The marking shall comply with 110.21b. EXCEPTION! Installations with multiple co-located power production sources shall be permitted to be identified as a group. The plaque or directory shall not be required to identify each power source individually. 710.12 Standalone Inverter Input Circuit Current The maximum current shall be the standalone continuous inverter input current rating when the inverter is producing rated power at the lowest input voltage. 710.15 General Premises wiring systems shall be adequate to meet the requirements of this code for similar installations supplied by a feeder or service. The wiring on the supply side of the building or structure disconnecting means shall comply with the requirements of this code, except as modified by 710.15 A through G. 710.15 A supply output. Power supply to the premises wiring systems fed by standalone or isolated microgrid power sources shall be permitted to have less capacity than the calculated load. The capacity of the sum of all sources of the standalone supply shall be equal to or greater than the load posed by the largest single utilization equipment connected to the system. 
Calculated general lighting loads shall not be considered as a single load. Informational note. For general use loads, the system capacity can be calculated using the sum of the capacity of the firm sources, such as generators and energy storage system inverters. For specialty loads intended to be powered directly from a variable source, the capacity can be calculated using the sum of the variable sources, such as PV or wind inverters, or the combined capacity of both firm and variable sources. 710.15b, sizing and protection. The circuit conductors between a standalone source and a building or structure disconnecting means shall be sized based on the sum of the output ratings of the standalone sources. For three phase interconnections, the phase loads shall be controlled or balanced to be compatible with specifications of the sum of the power supply capacities. 710.15c, single 120 volt supply. Standalone and isolated microgrid systems shall be permitted to supply 120 volts to single phase, three wire, 120 240 volt service equipment or distribution panels where there are no 240 volt outlets and where there are no multi wire branch circuits. In all installations, the sum of the ratings of the power sources shall be less than the rating of the neutral bus in the service equipment. This equipment shall be marked with the following words or equivalent. Warning! Single 120 volt supply! Do not connect multi-wire branch circuits! Exclamation mark. The warning signs or labels shall comply with 110.21b. 710.15d three phase supply standalone and microgrid systems shall be permitted to supply three phase three wire or four wire systems 710.15e energy storage or backup power system requirements energy storage or backup power supplies shall not be required 710.15f backfed circuit breakers Plug-in type backfed circuit breakers connected to an interconnected supply shall be secured in accordance with 408.36D. Circuit breakers marked line and load shall not be backfed. 710.15G, voltage and frequency control. The standalone or isolated microgrid supply shall be controlled so that voltage and frequency remain within suitable limits for the connected loads. And that brings us to the end of Article 710, folks. That was a quick article, the quickest radio broadcast we've ever done here. Thanks for listening. And remember, stand alone. Go island mode. Woo! Thank you for listening to Sean White's Solar and Energy Storage Podcast. You can find out more about Sean White at his links page at solarshawn.com. Thanks for listening. Woo!